Happy Saturday, everyone. I'm Carla Salinas and welcome to Take 5. We've all seen those cool hat shaping TikToks, right? Well, now you can join in on the experience right here in the RGV. Check it out. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What you see is what you get here at M Crowns and that is above board ace high custom hats. You can find Miguel Sauceda at the McKellen Mercado District always wearing one of his hats and a big southern smile. This is M Crowns. This is a uh, custom hat uh, shop. So basically what I carry here are all open crowns if you can see. They all start like this and from there you come in, you choose the one that you like and you shape it however you like. Miguel is a true cowboy and he's been wearing hats like this since he was just a kid. He's been said to wear a hat so much no one knows what his hair truly looks like. And he's always wanted to share his love for Western wear with the RGV in his own way. I grabbed the hat, I, I just, I was very eager to learn. Eager to learn to shape, to clean how it works. So as uh, the years went by and I went to a lot of rodeos, festivals, um, I perfected my craft. That was something very important that I like to do and I, uh, I want to give what the people actually want when it comes to shaping a hat. Miguel is a true artist when it comes to hat shaping. Take a good look at this hat here. Now look at what it can become with just a bit of seam and a whole lot of talent. If I'm shaping a hat, it's like I'm shaping it for me. I want that hat to look perfect. I want that hat to, to represent you, you know, and wear that hat with pride, you know. It, well, every single time, because it's a, it's a beautiful symbol of, of like, uh, integrity. Now these hats are made to your exact head shape and face, so Miguel has one big rule when it comes to choosing your hat. If it feels snug, it's right. Too tight, you don't want that. Yeah, you don't want your hat flying off come a little wind. There's so many styles of hats to choose from, but if you ask Miguel what his favorite is... Biggest one will be a minic. Actually something like this. Oh, what I'm wearing. Yeah, small dimples, not too deep of a, of a crease on top. M Crowns has been officially up and running here in McAllen for a short while, but the memories Miguel has made already will last a lifetime. The smiles and, and the customer's face, to be honest with you. Um, once they finish a hat and they see the, f the finished product, oh, they love it. And they that smile always gets me because I know they, they're enjoying it. Sometimes people come in with caps and they take out the cap and they leave with a cowboy hat and they wear the cowboy hat. And that's something that's always puts a smile on my face and I really enjoy it because it's um, once I'm done with the product I know it how it comes out and I, I just want I they wear that hat proudly. At this point I was itching to get my own hat so I asked Miguel to make me one of his famous straw hats. Now what are you waiting for? Saddle up and get your own custom hat right here at M Crowns at Mercado District in McAllen. For 50 years, this iconic place has provided the RGV with custom-made boots, and Take Five's Trista Castillo gets her boots on at Moran's Boots in Wasico. Hey everyone, I am surrounded by boots today. We got to meet the family who's been making custom boots for over 60 years. I'm at Moran's Boots in Wasico. Just like the old saying goes, a cowboy is nothing without his horse. But in this case, I think a cowboy is nothing without his boots. Moran's Boots has been serving Westlaco and the RGV with custom designed cowboy boots for over 50 years. And it's all thanks to the Moran family that has been passing on this boot making trait for three generations. The business was started with my grandfather. He started repairing boots as a kid back in uh, his hometown, San Luis, Mexico. He would eventually go to Reynosa, and from there he would come to the U.S. and he would work at actually really big boot shops uh, back in the day, such as um, Anderson Bean or uh, even Lucchese. Gaining that experience, he would eventually come to West Lago, open his own shop, and the, the location we're at right now is our third location. We've been here for over 27 years. Although they've had this location for 27 years, owner Rafael Moran told us he's been making boots since he was 10 years old. And how does Mr. Moran feel after working all of these years? Cansado. 
muy satisfecho de haber hecho todo esto, el patrimonio para mis hijos y mis nietos. Grandson Jason Moran tells us his grandfather is now in his late 70s and is always there to lend a hand. As a family, we're always trying to just help each other out and make sure that everything's done right and smoothly. Sometimes I have to lean on my grandpa even though he's older. He still likes to work. He still likes to feel real important. And uh, he's the one that if we have a problem, we'll still be, we'll call the, the old man up and we'll be, hey, we need some help. And he, he's always there if we need it. Jason tells us that not only do they sell boots, but they can customize whatever you like on your boot. They have every type of boot you can ask for, from square toe, ostrich, snake, crocodile, to even fish. And they do repairs. Jason and Raphael say it's the care and love that they put into the boot that is unmatched. We still kind of go the old school route, like even though my grandfather taught everyone that works in the back, and he still has us working the old school way of cutting everything by hand, stitching by hand. You know, even when we do certain initials, we still do it the old school way where it's, you want them to stand out, we cut them out. So I'd like to say that we're still more of a classic boot making uh, shop. So after carrying on their legacy for decades, we asked, what's next for Moran's Boots? possibly continuing generation after generation the best we can to keep pushing the business forward and into the next generation and the next generation after that, hopefully. If you're ready to boot scoop boogie, visit Moran's Boots on Expressway 83 in West Lago. For Take 5, I'm Trista Castillo. Looking for a place that serves delicious barbecue? Well, you can get your boot scootin' boogie over to Reina's Barbecue. Take a look. Known for their delicious Texas-style barbecue plates and excellent customer service, Reina's Barbecue has made a name for itself in the RTV with locations in Westlaco, Harlingen, and a third location underway. Valley natives Zeke and Erica Reina tell us they work hard to make sure every single one of their customers' visits is a great experience. We have dine-in, we have takeout, we have drive through we have catering. So we just wanted to make sure that when people come pick up their food, whether it's through our app, which will be up and coming here pretty soon, or they call in and order, or they're just waiting for food, they can come to the bar, have a nice drink, watch some TV, have a good conversation with the bartender. Zeke and Erica tell us they appreciate the regulars that have supported them since the very beginning. We have Border Patrol that have actually been coming since every day since day one every single day, five days a week, and we know what they order, even going through our drive through in Westaco. As Valley natives, Zeke and Erica have vowed to always help and serve their community in any way that they can. Um, definitely, we are very, very involved in the community. We try to be as involved as possible. Um, Recently, we started reaching out to the schools. I've been calling the schools personally, every elementary in Waslico, Donna, Ed Couch, Harlingen, Santa Rosa, and we've been giving out free kids' meals at the end of the six weeks, whether it be for honor roll, superior honor roll, perfect attendance, giving incentives. And just Monday, I delivered 2,000 coupons for free kids' meals. And to see those kids come in, and I've even had principals sending photos from the parents that they receive of how excited the kids are to come and redeem their coupon for their free kids meal. Um, that's one of the things we've been doing um, every August. We also do a really big back to school supply giveaway in, um, with Mr. Reyna's law firm as well. Over almost, what, 2,500 students received um, a backpack with the necessities in their backpack, whether it was like the school box, crayons, pencils, the hand sanitizer. So come out to Reyna's Barbecue, have some delicious food, and join the family. Between moist brisket, uh, chicken, uh, pork, pork ribs, her favorite turkey, chato beans, rice, you name it, we have it, you'll enjoy it, and we'll leave you with a smile, we can promise you that. Yeah, we look forward to serving everyone here at Reina's and giving them a taste of all the delicious fresh meats and homemade sides. To find a Reina's near you, visit www.reinasbarbecue.com. It's always Kate o'clock for me, and that's why this dessert shop joins us next to sweeten up everyone's day. Plus, there's a discount. And speaking of sweet things, our reporter Millicent Olivares has this week's Sweet Pet of the Week when we return.
kick back and relax because Devani Esquivel from Sweet O'Clock joins us today and the sweetest part, they're this week's Take 5 Off. So tell us a little bit about the discount. So you are doing 10% until June 10th, is that right? Yes. So um, any order that is placed from uh, this date till the 10th uh, does get a 10% discount on any cake. Amazing. So I want to talk about the cakes here because these have gone viral everywhere. I mean, there's nowhere that I look that I don't see a cake like this. So you have to tell me about this grand masterpiece right here in the middle. Of course. So this cake right here feeds uh, 10 to 15 people and um, usually run from 60 to $70. And they can are completely customizable. You can choose the colors, decorations, uh, flavors, and any writing you like. It looks incredible, but so what sort of flavors do you have? I know it looks good, but is it good too? I don't want to be biased, but I do <laughs> think uh, so. So we carry vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, red velvet, funfetti, vanilla and chocolate marble. So how did you start making these cakes? So I started about three years ago. Um, actually in February we turned three years. And I used to work at a local bakery as a cashier and my space was shared with the decorators. So um, I just always saw them and every, all their work looked amazing. And it just picked my interest and I decided to start myself. Um, my first cake was not as cute as this one, <laughs> but um, I definitely did improve. I just like started from there and I eventually I was able to quit my job and start my own business. And here we are now. And where you are now is amazing. I know you just hit 10K followers on Instagram. Yes, we just hit 10K. What does um, that feel like? Honestly, I can't even express how much um, joy it brings me to have grown so much in the past three years. I mean, I really wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for my friends and family. I mean, their support is, means the world to me. I know that you have your lunchbox cakes right yes. over here. So tell me about these as well. So lunchbox cakes are great for gifting, um, especially your graduation season coming up. Hey. Um, they're individual cakes that serve one to two people. And I mean, they're just great to take on your lunch or just a snack. But yes, great for gifting. What do you want to say to business owners watching this right now that are so inspired by you? You know, you just you just hit 10K followers. You're doing amazing. You know, what would you say to someone that's struggling at first? It's mostly just consistency. Um, I would say that's like the, the greatest big thing. Um, there's not really like a secret, but yes, consistency is the best advice I can give a small business owner. And where can people find you, Devani, to order their cake? So I am located home based in Westago, but you can always find us in our Instagram at uh, double S sweet o'clock and uh, just messages with any requests that they have for their orders and we can go ahead and help them out. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Devani. Of course, thank you so much for having me. You guys make sure you get that cake 10% off until the 10th. Another week, another special guest here with us. And you can see her so adorable and tiny. Her name is Janelle and she is a two month old Labrador. Now two months means that she is ready for adoption. She's ready to find her new forever home. She is available with the RGB Humane Society in their Harlingen location. And right now, unfortunately, they are overrun with so many animals. They are in fact over capacity. So maybe Janelle is not the one you're looking for, but that means they have so many others available that are looking for new families. Now, Janelle here, as you can see, she's pretty tiny, but because she is a Labrador, she's gonna get a little bigger. So she's looking for a home that has a lot of space to roam around in, and most importantly, a family who's going to love her. Call the number that you see on your screen so you can find out all the information that you need to get her into your home today. For Take 5's Pet of the Week, I'm Millicent Olivares. This dentistry and mission is changing lives by creating beautiful smiles. The details in two minutes. The following segment is supported by Beautiful Smiles. It's true what they say, a smile is the best accessory a person can have. And Take 5's Trista Castillo is showing us a place that's creating beautiful smiles. Hi everyone, we're here at Beautiful Smiles in Mission, Texas. Today I'm talking with Dr. Miguel Castillo, who's going to tell us everything we need to know about their new technology they're implementing for Invisalign. Dr. Castillo, for people who don't know, what is Invisalign? So Invisalign is orthodontics uh, without brackets and wires. It's uh, their plastic trays that allow us to get all these movements. The technology that's associated with Invisalign is a scanner by the name of Itero. Itero allows us uh, the ability to go in there 
and scan patients' uh, mouth, the teeth, and instantly we get a 3D feedback of what their mouth looks like. Uh, it also allows us to go in there and be way more comprehensive as far as uh, our presentation to the patient. Wow, so you're saying patients can see the results beforehand? In how they would look if we were to straighten out their teeth with Invisalign. Wow, that's amazing. Well, what do you say we go back there and you show me a little bit of an example? Yes, ma'am, let's do it. All right, let's go. So you just saw a patient getting scanned. Okay. After the scanning, we have a 3D rendering of the patient. What's neat about this technology, I now get to show the patient right up front, for example, that is a cavity. That's we got to go in there and fix that. Something's not right looking with this restoration. This, along with our x-rays, we get to confirm that there is problems. But anyway, going back to the Itero and the Invisalign, through the program, you're going to see real quick, it's a quick rendering of what the patient could possibly look before and after with the straight teeth. Wow. Then we get to go to looking at their teeth individually and once again we get to see, have an idea of where they started, where they could po possibly end. Yeah. This gets into Invisalign now. Let's say the patient is interested in doing Invisalign. So at this point, the Invisalign case has been uploaded to their site patient is now here with me and I'm presenting to them their case, how they're actually going to finish out when we're done. And that's actually beautiful because once again, we haven't even done anything in the patient's mouth yet, but this is how the outcome will be. Now, Dr. Castillo, thank you for showing me that amazing presentation. Will you tell our viewers the great promotion you're giving for the month of June? Yeah, so in the month of June, we're going to be giving $1,000 off uh, any comprehensive Invisalign case. Uh, we are going to be having an Invisalign day. It'll be a Wednesday afternoon. Uh, patients call the, uh, the office, uh, schedule you. We will be scanning every single patient that comes in through the door uh, to show them a before and after of what a, p a potential simulation would look like, give you an idea of where it could go to. We will also be having raffles for different coupons, everything from bleaching treatments to uh, new patient exams. So once again, June 14th. That's right, everybody. Mark your calendars for June 14th at Beautiful Smiles in Mission. We all know the Shakespeare story of Romeo and Juliet, but have you heard of the RGB's version of Romeo and Juliet? Well, we tell you all about this very 956 play next. Are you Team Sherry or Team Las Milpas? The Creative Arts Studio in Mission presents This Is Not Romeo and Juliet a unique version for the RGV. Joining us today to talk about the play is Andres Garcia and Naomi Vivian. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank, Thank you, you for having, having us. us. Yeah. <laughs> all right, tell us all about it. What is the play about? Well, the play is really about two families. Uh, it's his parents and my parents, and they basically open the same kind of business, which yeah. is a raspa stand and a snow cone stand, and they're really fighting that one is better than the other when we we all know that it's it's pretty much the, the same, same thing. The same. <laughs> um, and so it, it, it's just about that. Um, it's, um, and then we just somehow like meet each other and then we find out that we are perfect for each other. Yeah. But you know, our families wouldn't like to see us together. <laughs> so it's based off the play Romeo and Juliet, but it's the, the RGB's twist. version of uh -huh. it, right? Exactly. And yes. why do you guys think that's important to, you know, play off that? Oof. You know, I was thinking like there's not enough stories of the valley being told and it's such a like a it's such an inspiring way of kind of like kind of promoting more artists to kind of like take like our culture because we have a beautiful culture. It's yes. like it's so unique, you know, it's neither like it's not fully like Mexican, but it's not fully like American. It's kind of like it's our own thing and seeing that up on stage, I don't know, I just see how it could inspire the next generations and kind of like just inspire even like older generations like yes, our stories are important. Oh yeah, RGB power all the way, right? Yes. <laughs> um, so did you guys write it? Is all the cast from the RGB? Tell us a little bit about about the inner workings of the play. Of course, uh, we're all directors. Uh, they were working on it years before. Uh, they already had this, uh, you know, um, idea of it. But they came in with the script, and as we started to put it together and rehearsing it, 
we, all of us, all the cast started coming up with even more and more because once again, it's our story. It's from here and, and we've, we own it so much and we just started putting a little more input, you know, yeah. of our own. <laughs> so like what started as like the director's script slowly became kind of all of our script as we started adding like the inside jokes, like si quema o no quema ka, like, like little <laughs> things like that. That kind of just really brought it, the script to life. Yes. So now that sounds like so much fun. So when, where, where can people get tickets? Yes, of course. So it's going to be June 2nd, and it's, we're going to have two shows. Uh, 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. is going to be at the Valley, Valley View High School Auditorium, and they can get it e at any of our three locations of Creative Arts Studio. We have one in Hidalgo Far, one in McAllen, one in Sherryland, and you can also call our number <laughs> that we have on our social media. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. So good luck, or as they say, break the leg. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming, guys. Okay, let's support the Creative Arts Studio and attend their production of This Is Not Romeo and Juliet, June 2nd at the Valley View Fine Arts Auditorium. Thanks so much for coming, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. And here's a look at what's going on across the RGV. United Collectors Expo is happening today at the Edinburgh Activity Center from noon to 7 p.m. Cosplay, karaoke contests, toy auctions, and vendors. Admission is $3. Plus, if you're a car enthusiast, you're going to want to check out the Memorial Day 2023 Car Show this Monday at the Iwo Jima Museum gift shop in Harlingen from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Thank you all for spending your Saturday morning with us. We hope you enjoyed today's show and check out these businesses. And if you do, of course, tag us at take5.krgv. We'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great rest of the day.